Hello, I'm Don Barry, and today I'm happy to introduce a new segment that we're trying out that we're calling Through the Years at Chester FBC. You know, we've received some really nice comments and posts pertaining to our rich history as a body of believers here in Chester. So we're going to take some time and uh, take a look at some significant events and some of the men and women who obeyed God and served Him through our church. Today, I want to share with you about a man who came to CFBC in March of 1956. 1956 was a great year. Sertz breath mints were created. Play-Doh was put on the market to become every parent's nightmare. And everyone in the country was playing a brand new game called Yahtzee. Also, there was a young man down from Tupelo, Mississippi, who began rocking the music world. He had a big hit song called Heartbreak Hotel. And here at Chester First Baptist, a new pastor came to town and he filled our pulpit. His name was Floyd Gent. Reverend Gent was in his 40s when he became our pastor. He had been working as a coal miner in his younger years but decided he went, wanted to go back to school when he was in his 30s. And after feeling a call from God to be a preacher, he did just that and graduated with honors. He was an amazing man of God. Reverend Gent was a forward-thinking person, and he emphasized programs that strengthened the church and left a profound impact for generations to come. Some of his accomplishments include paying off the notes that were owed on the building of our church, also building a new parsonage and in the education wing of our church. But you know what? He did much more than that. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, Reverend Gent allowed his little garage, which sat next door to the old parsonage behind the church, to be used by young teenage boys as a base for a hot rod car club that they called appropriately the Road Gents. Many young guys got introduced to Jesus as they spent time tinkering with their cars. He was always assured that the church would have an active sunbeam program for, for young children and then also girls auxiliary and royal ambassadors for boys. His vision was for young people to see the church as a place that would always welcome them. He started the first bus ministry for Sunday school and church attendance. He served for a time as chaplain at Menard and at Chester Mental Health Center. One Sunday afternoon, he brought several patients from Chester Mental Health to the church and baptized them after they had accepted Christ as their Savior at one of his services. Our beautiful baby grand piano that still is in our sanctuary that was a gift to the church from Menard Penitentiary. You see, Reverend Gent became known as Chester's preacher. Many unchurched people would call on him in times of need, and you know what? He was always there to do whatever he could for them. Reverend Gent served as our pastor from March 1956 to May of 1974. He retired. But he very soon accepted a call and served as an interim pastor for a church in West Frankfurt and also in Ellis Grove. In 1979, he came back to us here in Chester. And when the church called Bob Brookman to be our new pastor in 1979, they also called Floyd Gent to serve as our associate pastor. And he served the church from that time till 1992 ministering mainly to the older members of our church and in a beautiful special service in the year 1991 the church cast the honor of Pastor Emeritus on him as a word of thanks for his many years of service. In all, Reverend Floyd Gent served this church for over 30 years, serving God with his unwavering faith. You know, I can't say enough about this man. The desk that I'm sitting at is in our Sunday school office, 
the chair I'm sitting in is here as a reminder that I believe one of the two desks here and probably this chair were the exact ones that he used when he was our pastor. As I said, I can't say enough about him because you see, I was on his cradle roll that summer of 1956. My mama brought me as a baby. He later baptized me after I was saved in 1967 and he took me under his wing and I spent many hours at his home with him and his wife Aretha. You see my mom worked for her as she had a flower shop up in the middle of State Street and it was at that flower shop that I met a little girl named Jane who would later become my wife. I also know that Reverend Gent went to St. Louis and led my dad to Christ when he was in a sick bed at Jewish Hospital and later a few years he ordained him as a deacon. Well the last time that I saw Reverend Gent sadly he was in a hospital bed at Chester Hospital. I went to visit him on a Sunday afternoon in October and John Little our, our music and youth pastor at that time was in the room as well visiting and the three of us enjoyed a short visit because by that time Reverend Gent was very weak and John and I both told him goodbye and we headed out the door but we stopped because we heard him saying something we stepped back into the room thinking he was speaking to us and we went to see what he, he was saying as we went into the room we discovered he was praying specifically for John and I. And he was finishing up that prayer with the Lord's Prayer. We were there to pray for him. But he, being the man of God he was, turned it around and prayed for us. Well, we have many great stories to share with you about this wonderful church. After all, we're over 80 years old. And we hope that you enjoyed hearing about Reverend Floyd Gent today. And remember, every single day we're making history. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.